Joker 2 didn't do so well in its opening weekend. Todd Phillips' sequel, Joker Folly Adu, bombed in its box office debut with a domestic opening of $37.8 million. So it was predicted to get $50 million in its opening weekend. That's a downgrade from an earlier prediction of $70 million. It didn't even meet the $50 million expectation. It got $37.8 million. Any other movie that got that type of showing in its opening weekend will be more like a momentum builder for the next weekend. Not for this movie, especially how well Joker 1 did. This is not good. Not good at all for this movie. When I first saw Joker, when I saw you and Murray Franklin, the whole time I was watching, I kept thinking... I hope this guy blows his brains out. Well behind expectations after becoming the first Hollywood comic book movie in history to earn a D cinema score from audiences. If the audience doesn't like your movie, then that's not good. That's not good. Because then they're going to spread out and going to start saying, Hey guys, don't watch this movie. We watched it. And we're saying don't watch the movie. So this number is going to get worse in the second weekend. Exit polls are equally grim as audiences express their unhappiness with the anti-hero musical mashup. I'm more like, what are they more mad about? The anti-hero part or the musical part? I would say the villain part, I'm not going to go to the political correct term of this era now I'm going to go to the term that I've been using for years and that is villains I don't watch villain movies I don't like villains movies I don't like watching villains I don't care about the villain story I don't care about that I don't watch musicals either so this movie has both things that I don't like musicals and villains so I'm hoping that it's both that, you know what, we're tired of this anti-hero villain thing that's going on. And then this musical thing, too. Oh, man, I wonder if Joker one had this, which I will never watch Joker one ever. And you might get mad at me in the comment section saying, well, how can you say that Joker one is bad if you haven't watched it? I don't care. I don't care. I won't watch it because I don't like villain movies. I don't. Which did less than half of the business the first Joker did in its launch. Despite costing more than three times as much to make or $190 million. So if you didn't do what you did in Joker 2, in Joker 1, then why would you want to do it in Joker 2. Why would you want to do that? There's a reason why Joker 1 did so well. Why not repeat that success? Right? Bet you a lot of those audiences were fans of the first one. And wow. A lot of them are upset. <laughs> a lot of them are upset. To me, I'm glad that it failed. Like, yeah. Hopefully this is a precursor to every other villain movie that is coming out like Deathstroke, Bane, and now I don't know when Venom is coming out. That one hopefully fails too. I'm not a fan of villain movies. I'm not a fan. I don't care if they fail. I don't care if they're successful. I just don't watch them. I don't care for them. I don't care. I'm just glad that this movie failed and that this will start a downfall of every single villain movie ever. I'm more of the hero movie. The true, proud, justice movie. The hero. The hero's journey. The hero's story. The actual ratings that I do like to see, because I actually show you the numbers, is the Rotten Tomato score. And here it is. And it did get upgraded 
because the last time I showed you the ratings, it was at 30%. So there might be a couple of people that gave it a good rating in the audience score because the audience score was 30%. And now it got a little bump, a little one, just one bump, one percentage, 31%. And of course, the critic score stayed the same, which is 33%. I think that critic score is never going to change. Never, because I guess all the people that have watched the movie in the critic side has watched it already. So yeah. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks when the critics don't like you and the audience don't like you. But the audience is the worst score. That sucks. Shows you that the audience doesn't like your movie. Doesn't like it. To me, I'll say wait for the Rotten Tomato score to, like, say in two weeks to have a more accurate, like, score. Because this score is going to fluctuate throughout the week. It might get worse. It might get better. I don't think it's going to go all the way to, say, 50. No. The highest part will get... If, if any, will probably be like, like near 40 and that's the best. <laughs> so yeah, throughout this week, the score is going to fluctuate up and down, up and down, up and down. So I would say wait, which I usually do wait for like two or three weeks to get an actual score, like where it doesn't fluctuate and stays the same. So yeah, 31% audience score. I like looking at numbers. Numbers tell you the truth. Numbers tell you the truth. Letters and stars don't tell you nothing. <laughs> Half a star, yada, no, no. Letters, no. I like numbers. Numbers tell you the exact number that these movies are getting. That's why I like Rotten Tomatoes. Because they give you numbers instead of giving you letters and stars. And this is not a good number for this movie. If this goes down to even the 20s in the audience score, that's going to suck and be worse. The Joaquin Phoenix Lady Gaga pick was expected to open to at least 50 to 60 million. And it didn't meet that. This is going to be good for us. Now I can be at your trial every day. I can see you every day until you get out. Mm. We're going to build a mountain. But projections were continually downgraded throughout the weekend as traffic stalled. Even on Saturday, most rival studios showed it opening at at least 45 million to 47 million. So this prediction was being fluctuated too like nobody knows or knew like how well it's gonna do while warners reported 40 million on sunday and don't forget that when the warner bros movie first came on tracking three weeks ago it was pacing to earn 70 million so warner brothers predicted it will get 70 million I think the reason why they had that prediction, it was because, of course, Joker 1. Joker 1 did so well that they thought that, you know what? Joker 2 is going to have that same type of showing because the love of Joker 1. And it didn't. Didn't even meet that $50 million mark. And it's all going to go downhill from now on. It is not good. With the scores that it's getting from every movie score, from Cinema Score to Rotten Tomatoes to IMDb to every other scoring uh, metric, it's not good. Not good at all. Especially if you are hoping to reach like your go targeted goal of say. I'm thinking that they're looking at you have to add in just the 190 million plus the marketing that they're doing with this movie. 
say like $500 million, so half a billion will be the exact number that they're looking for. I'll be surprised if it got $600 million. I'll be surprised. <laughs> However long they they take <laughs> to get there, like we got to keep it in the theaters for several weeks. <laughs> if it has a bad week, second weekend, I wouldn't be surprised to see like a digital release come out the next day, say Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday. <laughs> like, yeah, we got a real, uh, did you release this now? <laughs> We're going to take this out of the theaters. No, we can't do this no more. <laughs> like, like why? We all know why now it failed. And it's because what they did, what they added that they didn't add on Joker 1 that they did add in Joker 2. And now they know the mistake. And if there is ever a Joker 3, which I hopefully there's not, or hoping that there's not, then they might just take that out. They either like decide, you know what, we're going to rework this movie, which I don't know why would they do that, or just decide, you know what, don't care about number three, I mean number two, and focus on number three. To me, they shouldn't be a number three after this failing. Nope. No number three. No Joker three. Shouldn't be a trilogy. Nope. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace out.